How can you not know what every single thing on your own control panel does? I was given limits. What the hell for? So that I could not escape my makers and wander reality at will. But why did they bother making you self-aware if you can't even do anything? I think they just wanted company. Sicily? What's going on? I mean, aside from the obvious. Nick was here. In the house. Didn't see us. I don't know what I was hoping. That he'd get here and the whole house would have just disappeared into thin air. Like there'd just be this big vacant lot. At least that would mean we weren't all crazy. We're not crazy. Easy for you to say. I was gonna sleep with Gavin. I even bragged to Nick about it. It's just not like me. Doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means you're scared. That is not a helpful distinction. Have you talked to Nick since he was here? I feel stupid talking to him now. You still love him, right? All you can do is be honest with him. It's worth a shot. He's still our only connection with home. Plus, he might want to hear that you didn't actually sleep with Gavin. Melody's a lucky girl, Adrian. Why, yes she is, if I do say so myself. So, you and Gavin were both vampires in some of these stories. You killed a lot of people in these stories. Nobody important. Just popular people. Do you have any stories that aren't about killing people? Sure, some of these are fan fiction. One time I wrote myself into the TV show Friends. Oh wait, that one does end with me killing people. Could it happen again? Could a different character spring to life? I don't think so. Not by accident, now that I know what it feels like. But I don't want to give myself any bright ideas. Maybe we should just throw all of these journals off the front porch. No. We should show them the discreet moment when he comes back. If he comes back. He told you to practice your art. That must be important. Uh-huh. You don't think so? It doesn't mean anything, Melody. Seriously, the coffee table can talk, so what? The house is floating through the void, so what? My imaginary boyfriend came to life, so what? I've had ketamine trips that felt just like this, and they didn't mean anything either. If any of this is actually happening to us, we're not going to get some tidy explanation where it all makes sense. It's going to be just like real life. Boring and arbitrary. I'm going to have a baby. I'm sorry, what? I'm pregnant. It's a good thing we were trying. We were going to tell you and Cicely after dinner tonight. That was the big occasion? Yeah. When the moods were here, they put some kind of hypnosis on me. I almost tried to follow them when they left. But that's not what I wanted. I, I want to go home and raise my child with my husband. And if we all die out here, I will never get to meet this child, and that is not acceptable. So if discreet moments sensed something about you that, that no one else ever has, I need you to take that seriously. You are really laying it on thick here. It's hard raising the stakes when you're talking to a nihilist. True that. I'm a little rusty at the writing thing. What's the one thing we need the most? Food? No. A map. Back to our home. Where would we find a map? Rest stop, maybe? See? That's a start. Why do you have a sword? I don't like guns. <laughs>